Okay, so solving an equation involving brackets. So the first thing we're going to do is expand the bracket out. 3 times m is going to be 3m. 3 times minus 4 is going to be minus 12. That's going to equal to 21. I'm now going to add 12 to both sides to balance each side respectively. So I get 3m is equal to 21 plus 12, which gives you 33. I'm now going to divide both sides through by 3 because 3m means 3 times m or m times 3 so the opposite is to divide both sides by 3 that's going to cancel so i'm left with just m on this side that's going to go to 11 so put one there 11 there so i get 11 over 1 was just 11 so m is equal to 11 and that's how to solve that equation now there is another way to actually do it actually Another way is to divide both sides of the equation by 3. So I get m minus 4 is equal to 7. Add 4 to both sides and you get m is equal to 11. So that is another way of obviously doing it. But be careful with that one, guys. Yeah, only do that when the number here is a factor of this n number here. Otherwise, yeah, it becomes obviously quite messy. Yeah. So you, you, you'll get some improper fractions to have to deal with. But you can divide both sides of the equation by 3 from this step here and get m so subtract 4 is equal to 7 and then add 4 to both sides you get m is equal to 11 but this way is a much preferred way guys for your exam okay and that's how to obviously lay out an, uh, a question like that okay and this ha has actually appeared on a previous edexcel higher tier paper so looking looking at grade 4 5 for gcc 9 to 1 maths okay thank you so much for watching take care all the best guys keep well keep safe bye, bye for now